Okay, so here we go. Here's the main thing. Uh, what I have here is, I, this is called a rocket blow bomb, bomb. So what I do when I start is I blow this off real good. I've already cleaned all this off with a Q-tip and gotten everything clean. Okay, so the thing is, is that what I was showing you there is that when you go to do this, what you're doing is going around and like that and put it onto the reel now what we want to see here is that what we're going to do is we're going to put this Underneath here, you need to make sure that you've got your 8 millimeter or Super 8 switch where you want it, okay? So I usually go back and forth just a couple of times. This is 8 millimeter film. So what I'm wanting to do is I'm wanting to take this and I need to put this underneath. Don't put the leader underneath. put the film underneath okay so once you get that down close your gate and then make sure that you have tension here when you turn on the machine you should be able to see that that is going so here's what we're going to do we're going to try and look at both of these at the same time okay so I'm going to reel back so that you can see the monitor. So I've got this down and I've got it underneath those white clips. It's very important and you need to make sure that you got tension here so that this is good and tight. When you turn on the machine, you should see this image here, okay? So the thing is, is that you see that we got the image there of that. That's the, the, the holes in the film that were there for the identification. So the thing is, is that what we want to do is we want to try and get everything aligned properly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to advance this film some, okay? So we're going to play back fast forward exposure I want to set the exposure before I start because I know that we need to have the best exposure so what I'm doing right now is this is plus and this is minus we want to be at zero to start with okay we're gonna test what we want in zero so if you go the wrong direction you can always come back so we set it as zero so now the exposure's okay, so let's go again. Frame adjust. We want to adjust this frame. Now, just how we adjust this frame makes a big difference. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip to sharpness. Okay? I want low. Okay? I'm going back to frame adjust and I'm going to click it. Okay, so we've got this frame adjust, but we, what do we got? We can see this is the holes here, okay? So you can see that what has happened here is that from my past adjustment of what I'm going to look at, I've got the axis set up to be in, in the center, and I've got the next click which is the Y click of that which is 16 so what I've done is I've set this up but the most important thing is this W here okay the W axis is at zero I want that at zero and I'm gonna show you what happens when I say that everything is ready now and now we're going to say, okay, it's a three-minute video. 
that's right when you press this it's going to start running but you see the thing is is that what I want to do is I want to lay my machine down like this the reason is is that we've got gravity so the gravity of a of a good stable production machine for film lays down so these are my own secrets and my own way of dealing with this that you need to know don't move the film so we're gonna see what this film is going to produce that this image now the image is going to be right in the middle of here so you're going to see part of a frame here and part of a frame down here but the main image is right here in the center so that main image right in the center is what we're after so I'm gonna pause this till we get to there okay so we got an image here but here's the thing you see with this machine laying down this is a floater so I mean you can flip that and it's a floater it's not going anywhere this is where the tension is and this is where it's pulling it's got to pull it through this gate and through these loops it's easier for it to pull it through this way than it is to have it standing up now the image that we have here if you see this you see that you got an image here and an image here and then the bottom is not the image that you're after so this is the part of the image that's down here so you're seeing it up here so the the problem is is that we want this image to be as big as we can get it but as sharp as we can get it so the the thing is now is what are you going to do with this? This is if you're after making a really great looking piece of film. My main purpose here is I want you to see how this is. It's laying down. I did all this uh, reeling it together on a stand up position. But when I went to run it, I laid it down now you can see that I have these cables here one is for the power and the other is for the video that's going into this monitor so this only has the video out going to this monitor and this is set up for the AV okay there's an SD card it tells you that you got the SD card there okay and that is recording if it wasn't there it wouldn't record it would tell you to install the SD card okay you see we still have this problem we've got backlighting 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 just wiping out so all we've got is an image of a silhouette we don't have any real image here to shoot at now as you can see we have just tons of shadow here which is really another problem too I mean even the people that are standing there are in the shadow and not only that but they are in a in a bad situation now what if you want to change this and make that light and better let's see if we can do that okay so what we do is we would stop this and then we would go back to the menu and we go back to exposure And now you could raise this exposure the way that is maybe one and a half would be good we're going back too much but you can see we improved that lighting okay so now what we want to do is we want to go back here and we want to go back to the exposure and we want to lower it let's see how one did well let's run it now that'll be a clip there so you will still have an image so if you wanted to correct that while it was running you can do that uh, if you found that you wanted to make an example 
so that you could use this as a lesson, then that's what you would do. You would see, okay, well now we got the monkeys where we can see them somewhat, but it is really wiped out. Um, it's better, but it's not going to be perfect, and it never was perfect to start with. So don't expect to get it perfect. Okay, so I've seen enough of this, and I can see that the grain of that is not any good. So we're going to go here, and we're going to stop it again. So remember that there will be a new look, okay? So let's go on down. So we'll do a half. Let's go on, and we're going to go on. I can still see a lot of grain. Uh, we're putting too much light to this, okay? So this is a lesson for you, okay? Hey, we got to end up with a pretty good image right there. Uh, even at a half, I think that's probably a pretty good image because the shadowing is not very good. So I think we've hit on something here that may be okay. Now this section may be pretty good. Uh, we'll see what happens here. We'll let it run for a few minutes. But you see, this is the bottom of the frame, and this is the top of the frame. So only this section right here is what we want. Hey, that's... Okay, so that's fairly good. Summit Overlook. Medicine Bow National Park. So this part of this has turned out to be fairly good. However, one of the things that most of the people want is to see people, the family, the kids, the husband, the wife, whatever. But all we're seeing here is scenery. So this may not be as exciting to them getting this film back as this is. But I can tell you right now, I'm going to take this piece into my computer and do this section right here and see how that really ends up. Even though this is not really, really good footage, it's the best footage we've seen in this film. So you do get the message. I'm going to crop this off here. I'm going to crop this off here, here, and here. And that's going to be my frame. Uh, this is actually shooting at 1440. So uh, this is more widescreen than the standard vision is going to be. So um, it, it's going to be pretty good. Uh, of course, this is my Magnasonic uh, FS81. Uh, but you see, we've got uh, somebody that let this kind of roll here. Uh, and, you know, wasn't uh, too fussy about the fact that they were burning film. So, uh, you see, every time we change this, I don't know if you noticed the time, 3140, that, that was the, the take as if we did the film starting from right at that point again. So, um, every time you change that, you will not be able to keep track of the film time okay you'll actually have to watch this spool to find out how you're doing with uh, running out of film I know this is a long uh, thing but I, I'm hoping that you're watching it all the way to the end because it's important that you understand the imaging process not only that but having this laying down like this 
makes it easier for this to be able to pull it makes the paw easier to to forward the film especially when you're talking about this this is belt driven or even it even if it's a pro it's being uh, gear driven okay but it's only this one so I mean this is the only place that this is pulling from so uh, you can expect some uh, flutter in that that's a fairly good image right there uh, everything is pretty clear we've got a pretty clear image of the, of the blue sky the white the gray of the rock and everything the shadowing everything looks pretty good there so that was a pretty good shot um, the only thing would have made that better was if there had been some light hey this is this is pretty good yeah this is a 1959 Chevrolet so probably this was sometime around 60, 61, maybe something. Uh, all this film was bought from the same person. So you see these kids here, they were in the um, Mount Rushmore. So this is the family films of these people. I bought these films from a lady here in Oregon. So that image there is pretty good. I mean, you know, you're still talking about eight millimeter. I mean, eight millimeter is very, very small. So, and this is standard eight millimeter. This is not super eight. So this is standard. So that's, that's a pretty good image that we're looking at right there. Now the camera could have had a lot to do with that too, the lensing on the camera. So, you know, yeah, this is pretty good. The imaging is pretty good here. I wouldn't say it's that great, but it's pretty good. I mean, for 8mm, this is pretty good. Uh, not the sharpest of camera uh, lenses, but pretty good. Not bad at all. Yeah, the imaging there, I'd say, is pretty good. We'll use this imaging to see what we can do with it. Now, you see here, we got uh, a different setup, and uh, we got the grain that uh, they're, they're trying to zoom in uh, from a distance and that's what's causing that grain. Okay, we're gonna stop this and we're gonna go into an edit.